<laughs> okay, hi. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind. And it's religious, so if you don't like that, stop watching. <laughs> um, so, I'm a deist, and, um, basically I believe in God within my reasoning. Um, some people say that it's, it's not really a religion, it's just a part of theism and things like that, and I really don't care about that. Um, uh, first of all, I'm a pantheist which means that I believe that God is the universe. Um, I don't really, I don't believe that God interferes with earthly happenings because he can't, he's the universe. Um, I also believe that everything that's revealed by science is revealed for a reason. Um, and I believe in evolution and things like that. I'm also what they call a, um, philosophical deist. Meaning that I take in things from other religions. I study other religions uh, a lot. <laughs> um, I don't believe in the Bible. Um, I believe that that was written by man. And uh, personally, I believe it's for controlling purposes. And I mean, if you don't agree with that, you don't agree with that. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, I don't believe in hell. I believe that that's another control thing, and um, I've researched it, and it's not even stated in the Bible, actually. Um, I believe in reincarnation, um, in a nirvana-like state, in the fact that we go through reincarnation learn all of the lessons we are to learn and it's not necessarily a Buddhist kind of form of nirvana where you renounce worldly, worldly things it's more of um you've learned all of the lessons that you're supposed to learn and now your soul is going to go and become one with God in the universe um for a little background information, I live in Georgia, which is very, very religious, and um, we're kind of starting to actually step away from that. I don't know um, if any of you know, but Georgia had partial prohibition in the fact that you couldn't sell alcohol on Sundays, and they're actually now leaving that up to cities and counties to vote on, not, you know, uh, so, actually the city that I live in has no prohibition anymore, so they're, um, kind of starting to move away from it, but Georgia is very much a state where you drive down the road a mile and there's ten churches in that one mile. Um, even in the most rural places, if you can't find any other building, you're going to find a church. Um, it's, it's really, uh, I guess, I don't want to say a hindering environment, but if you don't believe in one of the Christian faiths, it's a very uh, unopen-minded environment. Um, I realized that I was a deist a couple years ago. In actuality, I've been a deist since I was about 11 or 12. Um, I grew up in a um, Baptist church, and I don't know if anybody knows about Baptist church, but you're taught to fear God and hell. Um, and in my mind, you know, in Sunday school we're taught God is good, God loves me, God forgives me, God sent Jesus to forgive me, 
why would he want to eternally damnate me to hell? And that's not forgiving at all. Um, I really struggled with that. Even at the young age I was, I struggled with that. I, you know, was just starting middle school. And, um, I questioned a lot of things when I started middle school. Um, when I was in high school, I had a, a friend of mine die. And, um, that actually turned me back to the Christian faith. Um, and when I got to college, I kind of, I guess I realized that I was lying to myself and that needed to stop. <laughs> and it wasn't because I wanted to lie to myself, it was because I didn't know, you know, who I was and I needed to do a lot of research <laughs> to know what I, you know, who I was. Um, and so I finally came across deism, and, um, one of the things that actually pushed me towards deism was I started dating my boyfriend, who's an atheist. And, you know, as we talked more and more, I was like, yeah, I know that I'm not a Christian, but I don't, I, at that point I was myself as a universal Unitarian, um, universe, however you say it, um, I was describing myself as a Unitarian, and if you know anything about Unitarians, they're very open towards other religions, they study other religions, um, and they very rarely use the Bible, and actually if I decided to go to church at any point, it would be a Unitarian church, um, but, I was describing myself as a Unitarian like, but even then, um, it, it just doesn't really seem to be complete with me. And then I found out about the reason. I was like, what does it mean? Because everything that I believe is from my own reason. You know, it is, I don't believe in hell because I reason it to not be real. Um, the other day in my psychology class, we actually had somebody come in bearing a cross. They were carrying the cross. And they asked, you know, what non-believers thought of him when he walked in. And, once again, being from a very, very Christian place, um, I hesitated to speak up about not being someone I, I don't believe that Jesus obviously was the son of God because the universe can't have a son or send his son. Um, and I very hesitantly spoke up against it and I, I, you know, I said that, you know, I was worried that he was going to try to convert us and I had every reason to be worried. I came to school for my psychology class not to be preached to, irregardless of my faith. You know, I, I don't like being preached to. And, um, a girl who's actually Christian, um, there were only three people who spoke against, you know, who said that they were non-believers. And the, um, the girl who was a Christian said that, especially in Georgia, it is more acceptable for him to carry the cross around campus than for us three to speak up about being non-believers. And <laughs> I wanted to shake her hand and say thank you, thank you for saying that because it's true. And yes, I believe in God, but I would get a lot of backlash for saying that I don't believe in hell and I believe in reincarnation. Um, and I don't, you know, I asked this question on Reddit, and I asked, 
if any of the DSM that it kind of um, feel a connection with atheists and I, I wanted to ask this question because I wanted to know if it was just me because my boyfriend's an atheist um, because I do feel the persecution um, you know especially when that you know get old question what church do you go to comes up and that's that's a beautiful question for me because that can lead into a lot of things. And I don't like arguing. I like debates. I do. I love debates because that's how I learn. That's how I learn who I am is through debate with other people. Um, they don't like to argue. And a lot of the times I'm very one-sided when I debate with people. I rarely even put in my opinion because I just like to hear what other people think. Um, and I guess being with someone who's not of the same, you know, faith of you, uh, is really interesting. Um, but more on that in another video. So I just really want to know if people who are deist, do you feel a connection with atheists? And if so, why? And if not, why? Um, so this is a pretty long video. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks for watching it. And see you next time.